hello guys uh, so today we will learn like uh, as i that s3 topic only but uh, today like we'll learn how we can enable that uh, website in that uh, s3 bucket and then how we can make that bucket as public so these two topics i missed in my previous video uh, so like if any other topic you want to see means that those topics i already covered in my existing s3 video so you can go through that video Today I am just covering that uh, creating a website and enabling that public access so maybe we will go through that. So I just logged into management console then I am going to this S3 management studio. And then for the demo I am creating one new bucket name as website demo block all public access all those things are as it is i am just creating this bucket so bucket is being created so that bucket has been created now so this is that bucket so currently if you will go to that permissions means here you will see block all access is enabled so first thing is like first i'll show you like uh, that with that demo also you will get to know like why that public access is required so let's say like uh, to i i told you earlier as well if you want to enable that uh, website hosting on your uh, s3 bucket means you just need to come to that bucket name then properties and then at the bottom you will find a static website hosting so if you will edit this you need to enable this but before that uh, you need to have some object in in your bucket like what website you want to make so that website objects need to be present in your uh, uh, bucket so let's say like uh, i i'm not creating that entire website but i'm just adding one file so that i can just point it in that uh, initial uh, initial link of that website so uh, let's say like i'm just uh, keeping one uh, one person one pdf only i am keeping and this pdf i want to show in that uh, first page whenever someone will log into that particular website so this page is uh, this uh, PDF is getting uh, uploaded. So it uploaded here in this location. So this is my PDF name presentation dot PDF. Uh, now like I'll just close this. I'll again go to properties. Then at the bottom I'll find uh, that static website hosting. Uh, uh, yeah. So then uh, what we need to do is we just need to enable this. It says hosting an static website or redirecting a request for an object for now we want to host one static website for that uh, here i told you like we need to give that uh, that first page which needs to be loaded whenever we leave that website so let's say i'm giving that presentation dot pdf other than that you can give that error document as well this will return whenever there is an error or that redirect and rules if you want to give it any then you can put it here in this uh, uh, in this box in json format so for now like i am just for this demo what i am doing is i am just create enabling that website for a steady website in that s3 bucket then i am just giving that presentation dot pdf one pdf file i have uploaded which i want to load it whenever someone will click on that uh, link right so now i'm just saving my changes my save my changes are saved now now what i'll do is like again if you will go at the bottom means uh, if you will hit this url so this is that url of your static website so once you will hit this url mean you should be able to see that presentation.pdf but here it, you could see right we are getting that access denied error if you remember like in my last video i have i have shown you like when we will get this error and uh, how we can make our so to resolve this error and to to make our website work means what we need to do we need to make our uh, s3 bucket public so what we will do is we'll come to that permission here we will edit this uh, the here we are having block all public access so i'm just uh, unchecking that i'm just saving it and uh, i'll confirm it yeah so i just saved my changes and uh, i'll edit this policy as well so that everyone can connect to this uh, bucket so i'll just i have that policy content here so you will find this in the description 
here I am updating this and uh, my bucket name is this one website demo2 and uh, here I am updating the name and uh, I'll save my changes yeah <clears throat> so now uh, if you will come to that bucket list and if you will refresh this page and you will see that website demo 2 is now publicly available now if you will just uh, reload this page means I think you will be able to see that PDF file so you can see like I am not giving that uh, complete URL of this PDF but you can see like uh, I am able to load whatever PDF I have uploaded here so uh, you can see like this this got loaded because uh, in my uh, in my property sorry in my properties at the bottom my labeling this uh, website what i did is i just uh, i have given this uh, base url link to point it to this presentation.pdf that is the reason why whenever i am hitting this url means it is loading that particular uh, pdf file so it's depend on like what at what kind of website you are having and what you want to load it at your um, first uh, at your loading page or landing page you can say so mostly we will have that index.html file where we will have our all the links and everything which will redirect us to some different different URLs. so as this is this was just for a demo and uh, to show you like how it exactly works so for that i just took one pdf file and i just updated here and in this uh, index document i have given that presentation.pdf so here you can see that uh, that page is getting loaded so it is working as expected so uh, you can just make a note of these two things we need to edit this and then we need to give a permissions that's all yeah thank you for this thank you for watching